Hi guys, it's Adam the OT back again with another very simple, super fun and highly effective activity that's just perfect for teletherapy or home learning. Today's activity is a fun one. It's called Hero Hands. I've got my two Hero Hands here. I've got Iron Man, my Arc Blaster, and I've got Spider-Man over here. All we're gonna do with these guys, this looks really complicated and kind of fancy. It just uses a regular surgical glove, like a latex or vinyl glove. When you're using this, just make sure you're not, it's not gonna irritate the child's skin. Some people have a bit of a reaction to latex gloves. So a simple glove, a couple of markers, and you're gonna create something that's a, it's a really, really fun way to start a teletherapy session, because I'll use this to work on those writing skills. It's on a vertical surface, so it's great for the stability. The child's hugely motivated to do it because they see the end product and think it looks really cool. Loads of my boys and girls are big into superheroes and comics, so they, they, this is a great uh, jumping off point in terms of motivation. Plus, once they finish it, I have like 10 activities each for each of these superheroes. So I might do some hanging swing things, some web slinging sort of games for Spider-Man. If I do Hulk hands, I'll do my one page powerhouse, the older video I did that's really popular. That's a great one for Hulks. If I do um, Iron Man, I might have a balloon in the air and try and get them to keep it in the air using their little blasters here. But Anything you do from that point, the child's gonna be 10 times more motivated to do, okay? This looks like it might be messy. It's really, really not because um, you're just using the markers. You don't really mind if they get in the child's skin because they're already wearing gloves. They're writing, in fact, on their skin already, so it's not really an issue. It's very pleasing to because these style of surgical gloves, they make a very, very nice canvas. The marker takes to them very well, so it feels quite nice. You can do the outlines, um, it's actually surprisingly easy to do the outlines, even for kids that don't have any particular like uh, artistic flair. I, I don't really, so, but these are, I only did these. And another one I'll show you in like 10 minutes each, less probably, especially Spider-Man one's super easy. You can color them in if you want, but you don't have to. If you have loads of time with the child, uh, if it's your own child at home and you're a parent, by all means, take like an hour to do this. A great one I'll do in therapy is I'll start off the Spider-Man one, do the hard part, which is the webs, and they can color it in themselves at home when they're wearing it. And then they'll be swinging around the house all day with it and parents kind of like it because it's intrinsically motivating and it gets a lot of physical activity that the child creates for themselves then, okay? So for today's activity, um, we're gonna show you how to make one little hero hand, okay? I've got Iron Man here. Got Spider-Man. You can pick them on and off. It doesn't matter if they make a mistake because Iron Man's always destroying his suits. So to have the next session that Iron Man Glove Mark II is perfectly fine. One of my favorites I do all the time is this one. Okay, so this is the Infinity Gauntlet. Don't make me do it. Okay, so you see I've got all my Infinity Stones. The kids love coloring them in. It looks really, again, look complicated. Uh, fear me, but it's really, really simple. You just draw the circles for the infinity stones, follow the contours of the hand, and then it's just about tracing over lines you've already made. It's ridiculously easy. So I, I've had like a eight or nine year olds, even seven year olds do ones every bit as good as that. And because they care about it more and they know what I've done wrong here, how this isn't accurate, they'll um, correct my mistakes a lot of the time and they love doing that and telling me where I've gone wrong. But today I'll show you how to do a very, very simple one with a Spider-Man hand, okay? So let me take that off. And all we're gonna need is a uh, regular latex glove or vinyl glove, I think these are, like a regular surgical glove. They come in boxes of 100. Now the reason I did this in the first place, because it's an interesting story, is I had a parent approach me and tell me their son was really struggling with the whole quarantine situation. He was prone to anxiety anyway, and all, anything with the masks and the gloves that were required to wear, if you leave the house at all here in Dubai, then he was very, very anxious about all of that. So I wanted to do something that had a positive association with the protective equipment he had to wear. So, and he wasn't a young kid, he was like 12, a very big comic book fan, so I made these with him in a session, and it was really, really positive experience, okay? So, I've got my glove on. For any of these gloves that you're gonna do, to get the design of it, just look in Google Images and look for like Iron Man glove or Infinity Gauntlets, and you'll see pictures of them front and back. Like cosplayers do this really well all over the world, uh, so it's very easy to get started, okay? All you're gonna do in any of these ones typically, like I said, follow the contours of the hands, 
you have lines across the knuckles and it's really simple. A lot of kids can do it by themselves. You may want to help them get started. Then when they see how easy it is, they'll happily do it themselves, okay? So for Spider-Man, all I'm gonna do, I'll hold it up to the camera here so you can see a little bit. I'm gonna draw lines along you know, the bones of the hand, okay? So between my knuckles and all the way back to my palm. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. Because it's a dynamic thing, it moves along with you in a way. As long as it has the movement, kind of as it's moving, it'll look really, really cool, okay? Down through the thumb, the web space. Haha, <laughs> web space, Spider-Man. Over the knuckles. Down the palm the same way. Easy peasy. Regular markers are fine. I like Sharpies just because they dry really fast. But do be careful because they are more permanent, but only on this hand. I would usually get the child to wear gloves on both hands anyway. Okay, I'm going to draw a little circle around each knuckle then. So look, I'm doing a line across the knuckles, starting off with the thumb, all the way around. Again, I'm doing this fast, so I'm actually doing it quite messily, but it's still going to look really good when it's finished. Okay, again, a line over each knuckle. DIPs and PIPs for my OT anatomy nerd friends. Like myself, I'm an anatomy nerd too. Beautiful. Excellent. So this is a really a motor activity for the times that we're living in right now, really. So it's using something that maybe is a little bit scary, a little bit new, the child maybe has um, negative associations with. I'm gonna change how they frame that object. So some very simple like one glove, but because of this one glove and the activity we're doing here, so as you can see, I'm just drawing circles around all my fingers. Because of this activity that I'll start the session with, then I'm going to do all sorts of Spider-Man challenges or Hulk challenges or Iron Man challenges. And sometimes I'll have like a, there's like superhero certificates like Tony Stark certificates you can give the child at the end as well. But you just make it fun and let them make it as much fun as they want. Because they, a lot of the time they know the subject better than you do. So let them tell you about it, okay? So I've got my lines in my hands, got my lines around my fingers. And then watch, this is the fun part. This makes it look like Spider-Man. All I'm going to do is join it up with my little webs. So do like little, almost like little rainbows, like little arcs between each one. So I'm going to arc back towards the wrist like this. Can you see what I'm doing? Hold on, I'm going to turn my hand over so you can see better. Like that. And then each time, if I turn this way, you'll see better. Each time I'm going to join up this arc with the previous side. Can you see? Okay. So the majority of my kids, if they're into... Um, Letter formation, if they're older than maybe like six, the majority of them can do this. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be pretty. Because it's theirs, they're gonna take more ownership of it. And they're gonna try pretty hard to make it correct. They'll probably put more effort into doing this than they would into doing a writing task, which is understandable. Dressing up as a superhero is more fun than writing. Again, the same on the palm, these little arcs. Easy, peasy. I'm doing that okay, you can see. Again, I'm rushing through this. But it's still looking okay. Fantastic, okay? That's not looking too bad at all. All right, and then the child can, I would usually just do that much in a teletherapy session, then tell them they can color it in between sessions if they want. Then you've seen the one I was wearing earlier that was fully colored in. It's this guy. So if I pull them back on, you can see the difference. Now this is the same glove. I just started off plain. So as it's colored in, it looks like that fellow. Okay. 
So that's our little hero hand activity. It's a brilliant motivator to start off any therapy session, any teletherapy session, and then do the rest of your activities themed around that superhero. So in dexterity and fine motor skills and the strength of Hulk and the problem solving of uh, Tony Stark and Iron Man, um, you can bring it all into just make it really, really fun and really, really motivating. And then you're using something that costs next to nothing. Almost all of my families have these at home anyway because we're required to have them here in Dubai. And it's, uh, it's just a really positive association with something a lot of my kids were slightly fearful of or certainly uncertain of. Okay, that's it guys, that's the hero hand activity. I've got a couple more using gloves, using these latex surgical gloves because I came up with a bunch for a lot of my kids who have anxieties over them. And there's a really nice sensory one coming up as well. I'm gonna post in a few days time. But as always, if you have any questions or concerns, just send me a link. If there's a specific activity or skill you want to develop in your clients or students or your own children, then please do send me a message and I will do my very best to do a video just for you guys. Because this is this whole process of getting the feedback from the therapists and parents around the world has been just unbelievable. So it's really, really made me a very, very happy OT. I'm generally a happy OT, but that especially has, has been um, amazing in the last few day, few weeks. So thank you so much, everyone. That's Adam OT. Um, I